My name is Ronald V. Norris, MD, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Dr. John Baird in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Shelley Roby from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I'm Dr. Rob Ward. I'm a family practitioner. Gary Samuelson. I'm an atomic physicist. Our cells age with us, and uh, part of the disease process is actually that your cells get damaged. As we age, the healing process becomes a little bit more slow, less efficient. We have to find a way to have those cells rejuvenated. Redox signaling molecules are absolutely crucial to maintaining peak efficiency in cell function. It's all about homeostasis and balance and what it does is allow your body to perform at its maximum, at its best level. It enables you to go into your cells, repair whatever cell damage has been done, make them work better, and then if you add exercise and diet onto that, you'll be even healthier. This is a, a remarkable process because it is actually the process which allows us to regenerate tissue and maintain our health. I am so excited about this new awareness, this new paradigm of, of what we can do to, with our health. One of the great benefits that redox signaling can have to, to, for us is that it helps accelerate and maintain healthy tissue. I feel very confident giving this to all of my patients. Uh, it's something that they need, it's something that their cells lack, and we're just restoring it because it is native to the body. It's already there, just not enough of it. Every patient that I see, I share a SIA with, and my story, my experience with a SIA. This technology has the potential of spearheading some of the greatest advances of health in the world. The possibility of being able to stabilize redox signaling molecules and use them as bioactive, non-toxic agents inside our body is phenomenal. And um, it will make a difference, and it will be the future technology that will affect almost all areas of health science and well-being.